This has not been published, but your article continues below. Canadians will only exchange Petrie in an agreement advancing our interest, Hughes said he could not make such an agreement on Wednesday, GM Canadians was left with almost no salary space to work. John Mahoney slash Montreal Gazette. GM Kent Hughes article content has stated that he will not exchange defender Jeff Petrie except that is a profitable agreement Canadians. Two stories continue below have not been loaded, but your article continues below. Our article content is sorry, but this video failed to load. Tap here to see other videos from our team. Try to refresh your browser, or Canadians will only exchange Petrie in an agreement advancing our interest. Hughes said back to the video of Petrie asking Canadians to trade him last season after his wife decided to leave Montreal with their three sons, not happy with them limiting COVID-19 in Quebec. He returned to the family home in Michigan while pregnant with the fourth boy. Julie Petrie grew up in Houston and met her future husband when they both studied at Michigan State University. Last week, ahead of the NHL draft, Hughes did not rule out the possibility of Petrie returning with Canadians next season. I have said from the beginning that we will try to accommodate, said Hughes. But he is an important defender and he eats a lot of minutes, and for us to move it will put us in certain situations. We must feel comfortable that in Jeff Petrie's trade we advance Montreal Canadiens. If we can and we can accommodate him, we will do it. But if we don't advance our interest, we will not do that. Three stories continue below have not been loaded, but your article continues below. Article content on Wednesday afternoon, Hughes could not trade Petrie, which would help Canadians move forward and free some salary space. Petrie has three more seasons left in a four-year contract, with an annual salary hit $6.25 million. According to CapFriendly, Canadians only has $223,334 in the current salary space. As a result, Canadians cancelled a press conference with Hughes scheduled for 4 p.m. in Bell Sports Complex in Brassard, because it is not much for him to be discussed on the first day of the NHL free agent. Hughes signed Jurij Slavkovsky, pick overall no.